Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. I was going through Twitter this morning and I came across Amber Valkyrie who posted this and she's tagged in Hero, Supergirl, Senpai, Yellow Flash and Nick Rikita and it's actually quite funny what this is so we're going to jump straight into it. Hey guys, Shane posted these pics saying they are cease and desist letters and obviously we got the letter there beard harris bullock and hughes and when you look through it it's actually all the stuff that was sent to ron not to shane obviously we can see that but they obviously because you got the first one the twitter statement i can't speak to all the accounts of people who have come forward with their personal experience but i know 100 percent certainty that there are four people i love that this has happened to and when you read through it you can see that it is all of Ron's tweets. Nothing to do with Shane whatsoever. And Nick even went back on Twitter with the following. It's likely a picture of a real letter sent to Ron Toye. It's a takedown demand under the Texas Defamation Mitigation Act. It is not a cease and desist letter. And with that, what I just find really funny is that, obviously, with Shane, he's... He's done a lot of this. He does bait a lot and he's very sarcastic to people. And he is 100% an internet troll. That's what he does. This is what he lives for by the looks of things. Because he's played both sides off of fools in the past. He said one thing to kick Vic and then one thing to I stand with Vic. And he just stands back and watches what happens. And when you just go by here, because it's, it's, it's very interesting, is that... Amber Valkyrie, she put on a few other posts regarding it, and she also put the link to the Kiwi Farm thread. And on the Kiwi Farm thread, it's got about Shane. So, this is what's happened. You've got Shane has gone on replying to people, because you've got someone by here going to him. So, the legally required Texas Defamation Mitigation Act letter is sent to what appears to be Ron Toye prior to the lawsuit, which again must be sent before the lawsuit is filed. The fact that you have then confirmed this, that Ron Toye is the one feeding you info, thank you for upgrading that from strong suspicion to certainty. And Shane decided to go on there and he decided to just mess around with people. So obviously we got the questionnaire about the legally required Texas uh, Act and Shane says... Actually, I have tons of sources, but since Ty and Nick keep talking about how they never sent anything, I felt I might as well point out they are just misleading people. But then obviously everyone's jumped on it and saying, well, no, they never sent anything to you. And obviously, the way Shane has done that there, he's like, they knew Ty sent something, they knew I had it. They played it off as nothing was ever sent. All technically, four of these sent were jokes three of which were just wasting Vic's money on bullshit. And then, what is really funny, he just keeps going on saying, well, did you really actually think that these were really to me, you know? It's like, come on, dude. Why are you messing around like this? It's... The way he's done it, he is literally just baiting people, and people are falling for it. We all know what Shane is like, and... You know, and people still still keep falling, which is it is kind of sad. But when Ty and Nick have said, "Well, we haven't sent you anything," and he's like, "Well, no, you have. I got documents here." We should all just be like, "Actually, no. We uh, we know what's going on, and you are just trying to cause trouble." People need to realize that, and people need to just stop messing with him and just get on with it because. He is being such a tool at the moment in time. Because this is what he does. You know, this is how exactly how he does it. And he's probably just sat there now at home at his computer laughing about it. Because he has got everyone talking about it, including myself. And everyone is... He's probably just there rubbing his little grubby paws together and he's going on with it. But it's not a ceased and uh, desist letter because we know what the template looks like. And, again, you know, it's just going back to what Nick said. It's basically a letter that Ron Toye had, and he's just sent it over to Shane just to bait people. And it's really good that Ron has done that, because 
everyone knows now that Ron is the one who has been feeding information out to Shane, which again hasn't been led out sometimes sent out to the public. So we got Ron breaking the law by feeding information from the trial or whatever into public hands, and then that person is toying with it online. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.